was a landmark victory. The Delaware Supreme Court recently made clear that the Wilmington Housing Authority's policy denying its residents the right to own a firearm for self-protection is unconstitutional. One of those tenants, known as Jane Doe in the lawsuit, had the full support of the NRA. Because as Chris Cox said, the Second Amendment is a God-given right that belongs to every law-abiding American, no matter their tax bracket, their zip code, or street address. In this exclusive interview, I talk with Jane Doe, whose real name is Josephine Bird. And as she told me, she is very proud to be part of the fight to restore and protect our individual freedoms for all law-abiding citizens. I've lived 75 years doing what I want to do, not bothering nobody. And we had an incident where I lived. A gentleman got shot in the building. And I felt as though if I wanted to bear arms, I felt like it was my right and I was going to fight for it. We are tired of getting beat up, being accosted for money at the ATM. Gangs and people on the corners day and night, they have no values at all. They don't care anything about themselves, so they're not going to care anything about you. In some of these areas, it looks quiet but we still have elements coming into the building. Once they get on the elevator, they go to any floor, and the younger sets that come from out of the area, they come to prey on these seniors. Some people won't come out of their apartments. They're afraid of these hoodlums, and I don't think that's right. And it's not fair. The guy on the street is running around shooting and killing who he wants to, and we're still unprotected. They got more gun power than some of the law officials. So who's protecting who? The law is not protecting us. We're supposed to have 24 hour security. It's a lie that their WHA has put out and it's in the lease. When security does come in, if we need security person to make rounds or do whatever they're supposed to do, we find them sleeping. To rely on the security of the housing authority is unrealistic. They say they have security, but the housing authority security is, for lack of a better word, deficient. So if, if they can't rely on themselves, they really can't rely on anyone else. It is a very dangerous place. This is about public housing. This is about the people who need the ability to defend themselves probably more than you and I do. You have 911. Then what you're going to do? You'll be sitting in a chair dead by the time they get there. So let me have my gun. I'll be protected. Josephine told me the Williamton Housing Authority forced her and other residents in these communities to make a choice. Either live in fear for your safety every day or carry a firearm for personal protection and risk being evicted. A lot of the residents were told that if they did something like this by the manager, that they would be put out. Well, they're scared. They don't want to be put in the street. I felt like I was treated like a second-class citizen. Worse than second-class citizens, not citizens at all. If you evict someone in public housing, you're sentencing them to homelessness. And if you are living in fear, you're not living free. I knew I was in line for eviction if I kept on and that they were going to fight me tooth and nail still. But uh, it was my right, and I don't like for anybody to walk on my rights. I am very safe with my firearm. I wouldn't live without it. I think what Josephine did was nothing less than heroic. Gargoyle Tootin, that's right. She's a leader and she's a fighter. Somebody has to take a stand, and I'm glad Josephine did. Without Josephine Bird, thousands of residents of public housing in Delaware would not today be enjoying their fundamental right to bear arms for self-defense. The Second Amendment is for all people and all incomes, black, white, or indifferent. This is our right, and this is why I fought. And by the grace of God, I'm glad we won. I do feel proud. This was a huge watershed case. The Delaware Supreme Court has said freedom is non-negotiable. We're equal, we're all Americans. The unanimous decision, that's huge. My father taught me when I was real young to protect myself. I used to go gunning with my father when I was nine, and I became good at it. My father was a chemist for DuPont and he believed in his rights. I met Dr. Martin Luther King. We were in Selma, and we marched behind Martin. I went to jail with my dad, and without my daddy, I wouldn't be sitting here right now. She's a hero. She's a hero in the fight for civil rights in a way that she probably never expected when this whole thing began. And this time, she marched with every proud gun owner in the state of Delaware.
This Second Amendment right to bear arms is a civil rights issue. In fact, it was the first civil rights issue. And the NRA was one of the first civil rights organizations in the country. And without their help, Ms. Byrd would never have been able to fight this fight. But what's at stake if we don't have people like Josephine in the years to come who step up and fight for their rights and protect and preserve their rights for all of us? Then our rights will be gone because freedom is won one fight at a time, one person at a time. It's fought for by individuals, not by organizations. I wasn't in it just for myself. And in my heart it was right, so I had to fight for it to make it better for somebody else. I'm not gonna be here that long, so let it be better for somebody else. The Second Amendment is doing what it's supposed to do. A couple of people that I know went and applied for guns. They have done it already. Safe is happiness. As it turns out, yes, it says that the Women in Housing Authority's rules are unconstitutional. But because of this case, all of the other housing authorities have given up their rules. That's huge. That's the entire state of Delaware. And the impact of this opinion, people in other states are going to benefit from this as well. If that can be applied to every person in the building that needs protection, responsible people, that's what we need. This way, we put them in a position where they can not only protect themselves, but protect someone else. Without Josephine Bird's voice, even though it was only one voice, thousands of people would not be safer today. Your voice is like a vote. It matters. And if you have the opportunity to speak, speak. Stand up and fight. It's your right to fight. You might be talked about, ostracized bad, but that's all right. If you believe in it, fight for it. And that will change a lot of things. I wouldn't want to go up against Josephine or the other folks in uh, the Wilmington Housing Authority who have chosen to defend themselves. The thugs and gangbangers and the would-be burglars of Wilmington stay away. That's the message.